Welcome to the morning of day 40-something. We're in Ponferrada. I just wanted to show you a view of the castle as we leave town. It's pretty cool right here along the river. And this is the river. Oh yeah. Oh wait, that... There we go. The castle. The river. It's kind of nice in this cool bridge. It goes to the other side. And the view of the other side, not as cool. Except for Nicola, of course. So there was a question yesterday as to why Ponferrada is called Ponferrada. Well, here we tell you. In, I can't read it, in, in the antique bridge, que dio nombre a la ciudad constructado on the 11th century for for pilgrims. So there was there was an iron bridge that was here built for pilgrims. That's what that says. Yes. I think. Anyway, if I'm wrong, Mrs. Case, let me know. Ooh, play mark. On the outskirts of Ponferrada, we just came up a hill. We actually went away I'd never gone before. I guess uh, I wasn't too good at following the arrows last year. But you know Nikolai, he's always on the arrows. So anyway, there's a nice little chapel here. I remember this. We go around the back of it. And we just came through a little tunnel over there with some cool graffiti on the wall. I know I showed you that last year. If you don't remember, look it up. Pomferrata. It's in my video somewhere. <sighs> Maybe you have to take Facebook for that. I don't know. Learn how to talk, Rob. You're not talking very well. I know. I don't talk very well in the mornings. Not a morning person. I don't know if I showed you that before, Santa Maria de Compostela, or this. There's a nice little monument here with a shell, and pilgrim at the top. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of cool. Coming up on another little suburban town of Ponferrada, but I just wanted to show you the view. Some vineyards. The sun's trying to peek out, but, ooh, that's nice. But the steam rising from that nuclear plant over there, it's obscuring it. So who knows when it'll come out, but... Makes it look kind of neat over there. Not exactly sure where we are outside of Ponferrada, but I just saw these pretty flowers, so I thought I'd show them to you. Yeah. Ooh, good morning. Wow, that guy's on the right time because uh, it is morning. It's not even 8 o'clock. I think it's like 7.45. The last rooster we had, though, man, it was noon. It's like, dude, you must have had a long night before that. So far this morning, we've been walking on Mostly Road on our way to... Uh, Villa Franca del Vierzo. This is our next town coming up. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not sure how far we've gone because if you don't know already, there is no GPS track for the rest of this trip. So I'm not sure how long or how far I'll be walking. It's just going to be I walk where I walk when I walk and, and we'll get there. Anyway, next town. So this property back here is a bit of a fixer upper, but it's neat looking. It's old. I got the phone number now, so I can try calling them, but yeah, it's a neat place. Not too far from the Fix Ruffer, the little church in this town, which I still don't know the name, but I'll figure it out somewhere along the way, and I'll let you know. Voila, win of death. So yep, there's your symbol, that's where we're going. Nicola is going fast today, I don't know that I can go that fast today. So we've been walking for about two hours now, the sun is still up there behind the clouds, ooh that's so pretty. Uh, it was a very different walk today than yesterday. Yesterday, coming down the mountain, was dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. My ankle didn't like it, my toes didn't like it, Rob didn't like it, he was in a bad mood. Well, Rob's always in a bad mood, especially when he still feels sick. Because, you know, <clears throat> he had an ankle problem, he had food poisoning, he's got a cold that's been lingering for a week and a half or two. It's like, it's craziness. Anyway, it's been ugly views today. Just the street, and some ugly buildings, and one of those things, whatever that is. Uh, but they say welcome. Oh, here we are to Camponaraya. Camponaraya. There you go. That's where we're at. We're not staying. But we are on the Calle del Peregrino. So we finally left the roads. Finally left the towns. I don't really remember what's coming up. But you can see off in the distance, Galicia. That direction right there. We're going over into those mountains somewhere. And tomorrow, up them uh, again. Yes, yeah, so we just keep going up and down for the rest of this trip. But tomorrow is the last really big one. After that, 
it's not too bad. I'm going to show you a couple of these interesting houses here on the way into Cacabales. I should get out of the middle of the road though because, uh, yeah, I'm on the street. There's a sidewalk. That's where I should be. Anyway, we're coming down into Cacabelos or Bayos. Not sure how you say it. It's only one L, so I would think you say it. But then again, I don't speak Spanish. Anyway, you can see the mountains behind Cacabelos or Cacabelos. And uh, we're not going quite into them today. We'll stay along the valley a little while. Than tomorrow. Ugh. Here we are more in the middle of Cacabeos. There's a little chapel here. And I just wanted to show you the Camino de Santiago sign on the outside. It's wood. It's kind of neat. And they painted a yellow arrow on it. Anyway, I'll give you a quick picture of the chapel again. There it was. Oh, the sun's out. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some sunscreen out soon. We just left Cacabeos. We're on the main road. But I wanted to show you over here off in the distance. You can see the church and bell tower. Some neat stuff. And there's a house. And yeah. And then this ugly wall. I think it was back to the main road. I mean, I walked away from the main road just to give you that view. Ooh, we'll look back when we get over here. So you can see Cacabelos looking back. Ooh, and check it out. There's a car coming up the hill. That's Cacabelos back there. Sky. Nice. Clouds. Sun. Cars. So we're still kind of walking along this main road, but I just wanted to show you the view. I'm going to stop a second just to get a clear view of things in the distance. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Here we got a little vineyard. Actually, it's kind of big. Let's look at the sky. The sky looks nice today, and I like clouds. And here come some more cars, so I'm going to stop now. Okay, I have no idea what these are, except for pretty blue flowers. There's not a lot of them. There's just a little of them, but... They're kind of nice. Right here. Two flowers. Somebody here does some sculptures. My bag's not big enough, but Nicola wants uh, What do you? Which one do you want? Apollo. Okay, whatever Apollo is. And uh, I told him, pretty okay. sure... Is it what? The big one. The big one. Which one's the big one? The, the, on that the one? Left. This one? No, on the left. This one? This one uh, at the end. Oh, okay. Anyway, I told him to give him a bag big enough for that. He didn't have to carry it too far. It's only like 200 kilometers. Well, we're getting really close now to our goal, which is Vera Franca del Bierto. We've seen a lot of wine today, or vineyards. The sky is uh, mostly cloudy, but sun's out right now. Clouds have been awesome. Anyway, we're going to give you almost a 360 right over here on this hill, underneath these two trees. It's kind of cool, so that's why it's just an almost 360. Well, we're not quite here yet, but this is welcoming us to Villa Franca. We're close though. When we get up here a little bit, I gotta show you the view because the view is just crazy. Do you see that view over there, Nicola? The view is amazing. The view. Almost there. See that house? I bet you by that yeah. house, we might get a great view. Oh, there's a factory down there. All right, we're going for the view now. Check this out. Yep, that's pretty cool. Nice view. We're here in Villafranca del Bierto, and there's a small, small church here, but Albergue that we're going to, which is right over here. This is the Albergue uh, Phoenix, I think. Phoenix. It's a really nice Albergue. Anyway, the town goes down that way. It's kind of a neat town. We're gonna get a good view of the church right now, except for this big, huge uh, power line in the way, but. What's also cool is we got our first donkey. We usually see a donkey every time we come on the Camino. This one's got a whole bunch going on. Hey, we're just walking down the hill, but looks like they're taking a break right now. And they, oh no, here they come. Yeah, check this out. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm still not going to get any view of that church with the stupid power lines. But yeah, check these guys out. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's look at the front of the church now. See, we got two churches. We got this one. We got the other one. It's pretty neat. Oh, there's something written on the wall. It says, Vida Franca, an art in la calle. Vida Franca, an art in the street. Alright. So, oh, one nice look at the donkey. He's got lots of stuff going on. Oh, looks like he's hungry. Yep, he's eating. We've been walking the streets of Vila Franca del Bierto. It's a nice little town. Actually, it's not very little, it's actually kind of big. And uh, this is part of it. We just had a beer over there. Sorry I didn't show you the beer. 
but it tasted good. We're headed up this little narrow road here. Headed back to Albergue. It's siesta time. Well, it means a siesta. But before siesta time, we're going to show you this. This is the church that we saw from our albergue. Ooh, that's a nice shot. I should take a regular picture of that. Yeah, regular. Regular, Rob. The word is regular. Well, it's quite entirely possible that we can't get where we want to go from here, but this is a great view. Because where we want to be is on the other side of this little valley here. It is a nice view, except for that crane. Straight across there is where the albergue is. And maybe we can go this way to get there. I don't know. But see, there's this valley. There's no roads that go down from where I'm at. <sighs> I need to get over there. Here goes. Somehow we made it to the other side. Look at that. There's another crane. And we were almost stopped by Cujo, the killer dog. Right over here by this uh, yellow house with the green awnings. He just didn't want to let me go by that little house right down there. So I had to cut back. But we still made it. Anyway, this here is the Municipal Albergue, which we're not staying at, but Patrick and uh, Leo are. Looks like a nice place. We picked somewhere else.